Hey, it's Quinny Eskimo here. Going to do the opening of this uh, wind inverter generator. Uh, again, this is just the opening it up. You're seeing it. I'm seeing it. No. This looks like little tools that come with it. Yeah, there's the tools right there. Comes with them right up in the top. So I'm just gonna. I got my Oppenel right here. Been using it today. I was making some scratches, but uh, oh yeah, I cut down that. So I want to lift it out of the box. It's packed pretty good here. So we got this open. We'll take this pretty handy. You can save this for hell. You, know, you can sit on that. Put it in your backpack or something. My stuff there. Throwing it right there. Got the bag. I'm just gonna just open this right up. It's the 3800 watt inverter generator model 563801. That's what this is. So, so anyways, when it comes like this, you have to take these four, follow the instructions, take these four little units off here. It stabilizes the engine. It says to elevate it. I can't see how you could because there could be gas in there. It doesn't appear to be any. So you just loosen these uh, four little plates up. I'm using the tools that came with this unit. So, But this is how you start off. So a little ratchet or something. But uh, yeah, got that. Got this right here. All right, so this is where the oil goes in here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, so this just comes right out. This is where the dipstick goes. It's the first thing you have to do, because by the time we're done here, there's the actual dipstick that it comes with. We've gotta put about 18 ounces in there approximately, you go by the manual. And so this part here comes with the machine. So. That seems pretty good right there. So now we're gonna let's see how this works here. It should go in now. Yeah. So I'm gonna pour some of this oil in there. Synthetic oil, 530 pens oil, wide range. I don't want to overfill it. Got a little ways to go. It's a nice little setup here. This works. So it's like just to the edge there. Yeah. This is a dipstick bought separately. There's one built in there. But and it's made by Wen. This dipstick, when you put it in there, it's magnetic, so it picks up all the metal particles. So whenever you have a new lawnmower or machine or whatever. There's metal particles from the manufacturing in there. This will pick up all the metal from manufacturing. Kind of a neat thing. A little extra. It's made by Wen, but just so you know. But there is a dipstick in there. So now, what we're going to do is you're going to put this in. Now you see the difference. This is what it comes with, and this is the one that picks up the metal particles. Three. You just see it right on the threads there. So. It's going to go easy with it. I don't want to strip it. But as this runs, of course the oil will churn and then the particles will get on there. And that's what you want. And then you can clean it off. So it's a great feature for the engine. So that's snug. It's not super tight. It's snug. Beautiful. And then we can just um, put this back on there and make sure that looks good. We got the oil. Number one. Number, that's first and foremost. So there you go. Got that. Got the oil. So now we're going to put the lithium battery in here. And you can read the manual. Um, and this is for the automatic starting. There is a pull uh, start on this. Let's see here. Mm. 
see how we get this baby out. Okay, so what this says is using a quarter coin. Okay, we can flathead screwdriver. Loosen the rubber belt and put and loosen the rubber belt and pull out the battery. How do you loosen the bloody belt here? Do is uh, to get this out. Loosen the the belt here. So I have to pull down and it unhooks. Put that down. There, so now it should be able to come out. Yeah, here it goes. It's coming out. It's tough getting my fingers in there right now. Just kind of moving it slow. I got fat fingers here. So a little tricky getting it out to, to get a grip. You have to fool with it a little bit. But then the battery comes out. It's connected here. So anyways, we got the battery out and it says in the manual to connect the negative cable. Now first we're fooling around with this. We're saying, where the hell is it? You know, we're trying to figure out where it was. It's right here. It's right on the side here. So we're going to put that on here. Got that here. Phillips head screwdriver does come with it. I hope. It is round, so we're going to have to take it off. So be a little tricky. It has a little unit underneath there. So, magnetic. So it's going to end up, it looks like I'm going to, I'm going to put it on like this. Now I'm going to secure it like this. Yeah, it's lining. It looks like it's lining back up. Yeah, it's getting tighter. It's not birds. My phone. So you kind of put it like that. I know it's a pain in the neck, but you're going to run into it if you if you do this. But it's it's really not that hard. So. It's covered up, positives covered like that, like this. I'm going to put this back in. Um, this is here. I guess this goes down like this, but uh, we're going to, I'm going to secure. There's a hook in there. I'm going to really pull it, and uh, I'm going to try and secure that. There it goes. So that's locked in there now. It goes like, like that. You kind of push that way and it, yep. it's locked so the battery's in next is gas I'm using the same thing little oil residue recommend 89 octane or higher always on this equipment and you should put a stabilizer in there there's none in there we're not putting a lot of gas in there it's gonna be burned up um, Fuel capacity, there's a window here too, is, and there's a fuel gauge in front. Fuel capacity is 2.2 gallons. We want to get this just so we can get it running, you know it's working. We don't want to put too much in here. Eighty-nine octane or above. I recommend a fuel stabilizer in there anytime you use it. And one of the features here, which we're going to see and hopefully test, is you hit an auto switch in the front, and it will burn all the gas out of the carburetor automatically, so it doesn't gum up and hang around. You know, some units have gas cocks. I'm not sure on this one. We'll check. But uh, which is another term for a gas shut off. But um, so we got our fuel, got our battery. The battery may or may not be charged. But uh, before we start up, we can go over some uh, features that we have here. And uh, one thing we have right over here, which is kind of cool, which you can do with an inverter, but not generators, USB port directly right into the unit. 
it's safe. Um, another thing, when is a lot more economical than uh, say Honda engines, you pay a lot more. They're good, but this is this is fine too. So you've got the USB port here, regular plugs here, and this is for RV circuit breakers in here, and uh, again 2.2 gallons on the fuel capacity at half load, which a lot of times you run it like that, and you're not running a lot of things. Um, you go eight and a half or eight and a half hours. Again, you can you can run sensitive things off of here, whether it's here or here, not like a regular generator. Now another thing is it has a parallel connection kit sold separately. So if you want to run two generators in sequence, you can increase your power to run your stuff. Okay? This is an eco mode, so when you're running you can put it on this so it doesn't run full blast as needed. And when we start this, we're going to turn it to the right, press this button, hopefully there's enough juice in here. And uh, if not, we do have a, a little pull cord over here, so it's a great feature. You could, you know, electric startup basically, or you got this pull cord. So that's fine. Power goes out, you can run your fridge, 700 watts, freezer 700 watts, sump pump. 1000 watts that's 2400 watts running steady is 3400 so another set of things you can run is the, again the fridge the freezer televisions 200 lights standard lights is uh, 60 watts or 120 for a two but if you run LED it's like 12 it's a lot less and most of the people we have um, LED lights microwave you can put that in there 800 watts so all like so the fridge, the freezer, TV, lights, and microwave would be 2520. So, so you're in pretty good shape. Now I, I've been through lots of storms, and, and it's kind of basically what I run. I run some lights, some freezers, refrigerators. Um, not on this one, a, a different unit. And uh, and then the coffee maker, you throw another 800, it's 3320. So you gotta have the coffee. I should have a wood stove too. It's back up. But anyways, so if there's an emergency, all your essentials will be taken care of, pretty much. <laughs> so we're going to start this thing up, and then we'll go over some other features. You're going to hear it. We're going to hear it for the first time. This is not a review. This is an unboxing. And hopefully we ran into a couple problems, not, I wouldn't say problems, obstacles that you will run across doing this. You'll understand it better when you get this unit. As far as the company goes, you know, we bought this. This, But I have a, a, a Wen electric log splitter I've had for I don't know how many years now. And I've done on my YouTube channel. I'm still using it. I Basically, I'm overworking it. We have gas ones too, but uh, I use it all the time. Very dependable. No problem. So I, I like the company. And um, we'll see what happens with this. But it's nice. And we need one. I mean, everyone here should have a a uh, inverter generator or something because we we get some pretty bad storms around here. Power gets knocked out. So let's get this thing started up now. Got a nice handle here. Always get a unit with wheels walking around. Pretty easy. It's, it's best to carry it with two people. Just your old finger like me. But um, yeah, it goes easy. That's the way to go. So okay, so we're going to try to start this now. This is the kill switch. It just it's not on or off. It just you hit it, it shuts it off. So right now it's on off, auto off. We're going to turn it all the way down to here, like choke setting. And now we're going to press this button, see if it starts up. Hopefully the battery has enough juice. Okay. Look at that. We're going to run a little bit. That is quiet. Very, very quiet. I mean, this is much better than a regular generator. I mean, listen to that. This is that's beautiful. 
started right off, right from the factory. It's on run now. It turns it all the way down here. Press the button this way. Start it right up. Let it run a little. Run it back up here. It's running super, super quiet. It's not going to bother anybody. If I walk over there, you won't hear it. Anymore. So we're going to run this a little bit. And, uh, Run something off and plug it in here. And uh, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. If you saw it, it wasn't planned. The startup was not edited. It just started right up from the back. You can't beat it. So, again, opening the box, there it is. We got it going. Following the instructions, did our thing. Good to go, man. Oh, see how quiet that is. This is how far. I mean, we're like, it's just over there. You can barely hear it. It's fantastic. So, so the inverters are a lot more quiet. That was low. We only put a little fuel in there. 50% here, 100% here. You've got your load right here. Beautiful. So, just on another note, so you know, just don't have everything all plugged in when you're starting up the generator. Get the generator going or the inverter going, then plug in your stuff. I'm just going to run this fan for now. But I, I like the idea that it just started right on. Hands on. It's going good. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this to the off position. It's going to run. And, and drain the carburetor. I'm going to run it to here. It should run. And then eventually run out because it will it will uh, drain the carburetor. Here we go. So we're going to wait a while. Let's see how long it takes. Still that, you know, it's it's not not getting fuel in the carburetor. So little by little, getting you more frequent. There you go. Just like your lawnmower or something. Like that. There you go. That's perfect. So you know that's working. There you go. You're good to go. So the fuel is now out of the carburetor, burnt out. So that way you should be able to start right up, no problem. And then, if that was running and I want to just knock it out real quick, I just hit this button here. And that's flexible. You don't have to uncover it. You just press it down, and you're good. So, so there it goes, man. We uh, took it out of the box. We, uh, you did it with us here. And um, it wasn't bad. You know, a couple of things, pulling the battery out, no, no problem. Simple, simple little things. But, uh, no, I, there's no problem at all. And I do recommend that uh, special dipstick, get the metal particles out, that's cool. But uh, just have to wait for a storm now. We had enough storm. But uh, we're good. So, oh, it's Quinny Eskimo. And uh, we're just doing a little Win 3000 watt inverter generator. Initial. Not really a review, but box opening. And that's what we did. So, with an op and all night. So, you take care. When you ask me on Fair Rod and Instagram, we're good. We're good, man. Beautiful day. Now I'm working up thirst. <clears throat>